Ohio's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. All right, let's head over for another look at the weather here at home with Thomas. Yeah, Emily, and today we broke that record in Salt Lake City, shattered that record for that matter, but we also broke records up and down the Beehive State. We tied the record in Cedar City by getting to 99, but we broke the record at Escalante, Altamont, Spanish Fork, and Tuella. And these are just some of the records because we definitely broke more of them, and it's no surprise to see why. High pressure heat dome sitting over the western United States in a lot of spots, temperatures about 10 to 20 degrees above average, and in the southwest. Western half of our area. That's where it becomes excessive heat, along with Lake Powell as well. The heat advisories for the western half of the state and northeast Nevada, they continue through Wednesday evening, and this includes all of the Wasatch Front. And then you can see from south central Utah to the swell. Meanwhile, in lower Washington County and Lake Powell and the Glen Canyon Recreation Area, this excessive heat warning will continue through that same time period as well. But maybe you want to escape the heat. One place that you can go, Washington Lake in the high Uintas, where Brian Watson told me that the temperature in the overnight this weekend was 37 degrees. Doesn't get much better than that. Once you get to around 9, 10,000 feet, that's when it starts to get a little bit on the cool side. And apparently the fishing's pretty good up there. I posted a photo on my Facebook page, so make sure you go check that out along with seeing a bald eagle. But here's the view right now in St. George with our Dixie Tech camera all nice and quiet, but it's still sitting at 96 degrees down in St. George after getting to around 107, 108 this afternoon. Here's the view from Park City Mountain. Doesn't get much prettier than this. Got the twinkling stars above, calm conditions down below. And in Park City, it's rather comfortable sitting at 73 degrees and temperatures are cooling off nicely across the board at 73, 73 degrees in Logan, 77 in Provo and we're sitting at 80 degrees in Cedar City. Those overnight lows are going to be very similar compared to what we've gotten used to in recent days and those daytime highs tomorrow are going to be very similar compared to what we got used to in recent days but I think there's actually a chance that we're a degree or two hotter in some spots with a high of 104 in Salt Lake City so tying what we had today 99 degrees in Logan, 96 degrees in Price, 97 in Cedar City, 111 in St. George. The high temperature record for St. George tomorrow is 110. There's a chance that we break that. And I know St. George is not unaccustomed to seeing a temperature like that, but in September, sure are. 107 in Moab. And we'll see a daytime high of 101 in Bluff, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Maybe one or two stray showers in the higher terrain in the southern two thirds of the state. But in northern Utah, we're also going to be looking at a little bit more smoke working its way in from neighboring states. So along the Wasatch Front and up towards Cache Valley, do not be surprised if it's a little hazy tomorrow and the air quality might not necessarily be the best either. But here's some good news for you. If you've been wanting some cooler temperatures, we're going to be near and above records more or less through Thursday. But Thursday won't be as hot compared to Wednesday in Salt Lake City. But temperatures at least a little bit closer to our average Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as we're going to be looking at a little bit more of a pattern change. So, as I've been talking about, high pressure the main controlling factor in our weather. But as we go from Wednesday into Thursday, this high pressure continues to weaken. A trough comes in from the Pacific Northwest, opening more of a northwesterly flow. So, some cooler temperatures could arrive, maybe a better chance for some showers and storms down in southern Utah. But as we move a little bit further down the road, that high pressure continues to weaken, and we could start to see a little bit of tropical moisture working its way in from the Pacific. Pacific as we go from the end of this weekend into the early stretches of next week. So we got some good news on the way. So fingers crossed we continue to see that. And St. George going to possibly break the record for tomorrow by getting up to 111, but the heat will at least start to ease going into Wednesday, Thursday, and then this weekend looking a little bit better, even with the chance for showers and thunderstorms Sunday into Monday. And along the Wasatch Front, daytime highs 104 to 105. So on Wednesday, there is a chance that we break the record that we broke today, that we broke a couple of days ago. And then on Thursday, I still think we're in record territory, but looking infinitely better Friday into Saturday, maybe even bringing a chance for showers and storms Sunday into Monday. Really? September showing off, huh? Uh, well, I think July is here just kind of in a costume. It just was kind serious. of dancing around <laughs> thinking it's September, but 90 feels like winter. I yes. mean, whoa, put on a jacket. Yes. I mean, even at 8:30 tonight it was 90. Wow. Yes. 105 potentially. Okay, thank you so much mm -hmm. Thomas.